I'm Josh Warman. I'm a scientist, and I drive this truck into tornadoes and hurricanes. We try to see inside these dangerous storms. The National Science Foundation is funding tornado and hurricane research in order to help future forecasters understand better how tornadoes form, how they strengthen, how hurricanes form, how they do damage. It's important to take measurements inside these dangerous storms so in the future we'll have better predictions. Better predictions save lives. If we have more time to get out of the way of a dangerous tornado, more time to get out of the way of a dangerous hurricane, then fewer people will be injured, fewer people will die. The Doppler on Wheels is a mobile weather radar and we send out pulses of microwaves just like any weather radar but we get much closer to the storms. By getting closer, we can see details that you can't see from anywhere else. Everything has to be self-contained because we're driving everywhere the weather's interesting. We're driving to the coast for hurricanes. We're driving around the Midwest for tornadoes. We're driving up in the Rocky Mountains for snowstorms. So we have our own generator power. We have to get ourselves level every time with these hydraulic feet. And we have an operator cabin that lets us not only control the radar, but coordinate with all the other science teams. We have to know where everybody is, we have to keep everybody ambitiously deployed close to the storms, but also safe because we know we're studying something that's quite dangerous. In order to measure temperatures and winds inside tornadoes and inside the hurricane eyes, we deploy arrays of tornado pods. They're hardened weather instruments. They have sophisticated weather instruments on top, but the key is that they're quick to deploy and that they're heavy and hardened so they don't blow over and we have the tornadoes pass right over them. And then later, we connect up a laptop, a Lenovo laptop, to this data logger and we get the data even if the instrument's destroyed. The Doppler on wheels lets me make maps inside tornadoes and inside hurricanes. I can make three-dimensional maps of where the winds are strong, where the winds are weak, where they might be doing more damage than others. And also, how those winds are evolving, how the tornado's forming, how the hurricane is strengthening. And the way I do that is by getting up close and scanning back and forth to make these three-dimensional maps. The Doppler on wheels is a mobile weather radar. So I have to have a very sophisticated, very powerful mobile radar with powerful transmitters, generators, computer processing and archiving capability, all fitting inside a truck cabin and it has to go down the road, it has to get under bridges, and it also has to survive a lot of shaking and bouncing. Inside the Doppler on wheels is a complete operations center for a weather radar. We have radar transmitters, radar receivers, signal processing equipment, navigational tracking software, everything we need running on a whole series of different Lenovo computers, and we have to collect the data, archive the data, get ourselves to the storms, and also stay safe. So. One or two scientists sit back here. We have specialized navigators and drivers up front. And in a self-contained and very rugged way, we can get to and from tornadoes, hurricanes, snowstorms, whatever we're trying to study. We have between six and 13 different monitors in the Doppler on wheels. And we do that because we have to be looking at a lot of different parameters. We have to be looking at the weather. We have to be looking where our other vehicles are. We have to be tracking the weather data that we're collecting from our mast. We have to look at the radar data in loops to see where the storm is going so we can run away when we need to. And we have to keep track of all this information simultaneously. So for me, the more monitors, the better. And even with these six monitors here, we have KVM switches so we get even more than that. The key to targeting storms fast deploying ambitiously and also staying safe is staying well connected and staying situationally aware. So we have different satellite internet systems. Uh, in fact, we've got three of them in this truck. One uses two providers, another one uses two providers, and the other one auto switches. So we have redundant systems using different providers. We also have satellite phones. And then we also keep track using uh, XM radio of radar data. So we have multiple different systems, we try to have as much redundancy and robustness as we can because if something breaks for two minutes and we lose connectivity, well, a tornado could be over or one of my teams can be in danger. So we try to keep it simple, redundant, and very robust. In this DAO, I have 11 different computers and these computers have very specialized functions. We're collecting literally terabytes of data in a typical day. So we have some computers that are just ingesting this really, really fast and archiving it. We have other computers that are processing it and making displays so we can see in real time what we collected. We have other computers that are in control of navigational systems, uh, vehicle tracking, uh, 
one of our persons is just sitting on the internet most of the time, tracking what the weather's doing from the outside world. So we have multiple computers, most of which are just doing a single function so that we're just dedicated to that and focused on it and can keep up with this flood of different information that we're collecting. We've been using different Lenovo computers for about three years now. And we use different specialized systems, very high powered servers to collect this flood of terabytes of data that's coming in at gigabytes and gigabytes and gigabytes during the day. We have other systems that are small and compact and are collecting data at lower rates or are connecting to the internet. They're all robust. Uh, they're very tough. We've shaken them up and down the road for 100,000 miles and they keep on going. And what we need are fast computers, powerful computers. Some of them just have to be small, but they all have to be rugged and reliable because we can't have one of these 11 computers breaking right when we're in the midst of a hurricane or a tornado. Reliability, robustness is critical for us. It's a huge effort. There's a risk. There's a lot of expense when we go out to a hurricane, when we're studying tornadoes or snowstorms. It's critical that when we observe one of these rare events that we get good data. If we're gonna push science forward, if we're gonna help forecast be better, if we're gonna help fewer people die and be injured in these storms, it's critical that our computers in particular function when they need to function. They function in the middle of a tornado. They function in the middle of a hurricane. I've been near 170 tornadoes. We've gotten great data over the past decade in many, many tornadoes. And we've been hit two or three times, and it's pretty scary. But the trucks are pretty tough, so the winds get really strong. It seems like maybe everything's gonna go really bad, but it only lasts about 30, 45 seconds, and so far we've survived with no injuries and not much severe damage to the truck. The most scary incident I was ever in was when we ran away from a tornado. The tornado had winds of 130, 140 miles an hour, and we drove into this strange wind that was outside the tornado, something we'd never seen before, that had winds almost 200 miles an hour. It ripped the door off our truck, it stopped us dead in our tracks so we couldn't run away. And that was really scary because we didn't know what was happening. And the scariest thing I find about tornadoes and hurricanes is when I don't know what's happening, when I can't see what wind is coming towards me and get all prepared for it.